GMRS, the same principles apply pretty much, except that with amateur radio, you gotta take a test and get licensed to do it. GMRS, you just pay, and the, the, G, the um, amateur radio test is only good for one person. So it's like a driver's license. If I get a driver's license, my whole family doesn't get the driver's license. It's my driver's license. So if I, you know, run a red light and get in trouble, um, I'm gonna want to get in trouble, not my whole family. GMRS is $35 a year, excuse me, $35 I think for five years or 10 years. I forgot exactly how much it is. But anyhow, um, that will cover your whole family, your whole immediate family. Now with GMRS, we have some better options. Now people are gonna say, people are gonna say, well, this is a type accepted, this is a type approved, blah, blah, blah. These radios are about $16 from um, Amazon. It's still pretty cheap. It uses an old um, Nokia style battery. It uses a USB, um, a bigger charger. It's simple, easy to use. While it may not be the most weather durable, it'll get you through. Power on, one. It's simplex, meaning walkie talkie to walkie talkie. There is a repeater option, which the repeater technology for GMRS is the same as ham radio pretty much. We're talking, for our discussion, like I said, we're talking about analog. FM analog. Similar to FM radio. You know how you get an FM radio, you find it in a basement somewhere, and assuming it's working, you can tune up any FM station and hear it, even if the radio's 40, 50 years old? That's how it is kind of with, with ham radio. Now, if I have a, a radio from the 80s that's mobile, and assuming and assuming the repeater is no tone, I can just punch a frequency and be done with it. Um, also, a 146.520, that frequency is just what I call naked. It's just like an FM radio station. There's nothing. You just put the, just put the frequency in and you start talking. Assuming you're licensed, of course. This radio here is one from my GoPack. I have FRS2, which is I decide is my, my channel. Not officially my channel, but I put some tones on here so only my radios will work with it. We have FRS1, which is 462.5625. We have FRS3, which is... um. Another frequency that supposedly is used for search and rescue. I've well, I never heard of it. Um, this means I can communicate with any other FRS radio. Let me put some GMRS repeaters in here. Um, GMRS 20 supposedly, which is also a SIPEX channel, is supposedly used for truck-to-truck -truck activity. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Um, people are putting repeater outputs on some of these things too. GMRS 19 supposedly is used by truckers. Oh, I never heard any activity on it. GMRS 16, four times four is 16, is used by the off-road community. But this will at least allow you some simple communications, you know, if, if mainly around your property or maybe even a few miles down the road, with the, if you go outside and you can talk, it's something and it's cheap. And there's other options too that you can use um, for this as far as GMRS. And remember, FRS, which is, I mean, this is an FRS channel here, Family Radio Service, which was invented by Radio Shack in the 90s because all we had basically before FRS for the general user was basically either we had CB radios for portability, which I do not recommend CB radios for portability. They're, they're wicked. The batteries are um, like, get like 10 batteries in a radio. Um, your range is going to be awful. The antenna is going to be huge and your power is going to be ridiculous. CB radios require a lot of grounding and SWR for the antenna, which could be difficult for the common user. The other option was this back in the day. Megahertz radios, which are very, these are basically glorified toy walkie talkies from Radio Shack with a broken belt clip. You had one channel and you had one frequency. Your frequency was 49.830. And you got a 9 volt battery. And that's it. And... It, and you really rudimentary. Um, the batteries are dead in this. But um, you had a call button. Let me get the other one. Well, both the batteries are dead in this. But anyhow, it's very rudimentary. Push to talk, volume on off, and a call button, which is basically just a squealing tone. It's nothing elaborate. 
That's all you had back then. That or CB or 49 megahertz. So Radio Shack said, well, let's let's come up with a way to do this. And they split up into the GMRS band with FRS, which most, so I like to call FRS walkie talkies. They're simplex. You just grab one, set it to the channel and go. Another thing I do not recommend is going on Amazon and buying randomly pre-programmed walkie talkie Bayo thing um, type radios. I think I threw them all out. I might have one around here. That's FRS programmed. Because a lot of those Bayo thing generic walkie talkie radios, I'll put a picture of them up here. They're not on frequencies that are approved for the US. And each brand seems to use um, each label, we'll call it, because it's just rubber stamping brands, seems to use their own set of different frequencies. So they're not compatible. If I have FRS channel one in here and I and, and somebody has an, uh, one of those FRS radios, like the Mall Roller ones, it will work. To me, it's no tone. So FRS GMRS is an option, but unless you're accessing a repeater, you're really not gonna be doing much with it. It's just gonna be, um, you know, a replacement for your cell phone around your property. Instead of texting people, you could talk to people. Um, maybe your neighbor across the street you could talk to or, or talk to the old lady next door, make sure she's okay. You know, instead of a communication besides yelling at each other. And you make it a couple miles, two or three, four, maybe five miles, depending on where you live. So it's something, it's something. And in theory, you could set up a relay network where I could have a radio, they could have a radio, the police station has a radio, and we could talk and, and, and develop set up a network for this. Um, so now we're going to a little quick addendum on the uh, FRS GMRS radio. Um, a quick simple difference between FRS and GMRS is that um, FRS requires no license at all, and you're basically using one to five, uh, half watt to two watts of power, walkie talkie to walkie talkie simplex only. You have no repeater access legally on FRS. GMRS allows you to use, in some cases, up to 50 watts, 5 watts, 50 watts, um, a pretty significant amount of power on um, your radio. And you have more options. There's actually mobile GMRS radios. FRS is basically walkie-talkie. And there are GMRS repeaters that you can actually use. FRS has no repeaters. Just a little addendum on that. As I was ending the video, I realized I should make something about that.